Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, if you are new, welcome. My name is Rachel. I am a reseller online on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And once a month, I come on here and sum up my sales from the previous month. So today we are summing up July 2023. If you want to see what my top sales were for last month, definitely stick around. So last month, I feel like was a little bit rough. And I say that because I I met my sales goals. Like my my average sales for the month were just about what they've been any other month this year. But I feel like I worked so hard to get them. Like it was not easy. Like I I busted my butt listing and listing and listing and sending offers and delisting and relisting and and I still only ended up the same and usually when I put that much work into it I end up seeing more profit so I would say July was a slower month um I, I had to work way harder for my sales than I normally do hopefully now that we're getting into Q4 I will um maybe see some higher sales without having to work as hard, especially now because I have so much stuff listed. If you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I do post reseller content often. I love doing unboxing videos on my channel, 90 day updates to show you if I actually made profits on those boxes. And then I love doing these monthly recaps just to sort of talk through what the month looked like. It's almost like my state of the business um, video, but I love sharing with you the items that sold high for me in case you are maybe sourcing these same items. If you see them while you're out thrifting, um, majority of them I get from like mystery boxes these days. So if you are maybe thinking of getting a mystery box or a little sneak peek on how some of my boxes are doing, you'll see in these videos. Um, Drop me a like if you find this helpful. That really, really helps out my channel so much and I do appreciate you. And at any point during this video, drop me a comment and let me know what was your best sale of July, 2023. And did you experience a slowdown or was it really, really good for you? I'm definitely interested to know. A few things before we get started. Number one, I want to say thank you to Melody who bought me three coffees. Um, I really appreciate the support. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the content. I'm gonna put on the side here what Melody said. She said, oh my goodness, I appreciate your content so much. I'm working on going into reselling as I move into semi-retirement. I've also always lived in large metro areas and my husband and I have just downsized and moved to a tiny town of population 600 in Tennessee. Wow, that is a tiny town. Your journey into wholesale box sources has been invaluable to me. Thank you so much for sharing, Melody. So I appreciate you, Melody. I'm so glad that you find this content helpful. I have moved almost exclusively into mystery boxes, even though I do live in a large metro area. I live in metro Atlanta. Um, I have a little daughter and this makes it so much easier than trying to get out sourcing all the time. I save so much time and I can spend more time with her and then also just with listening because this stuff comes to my door. So I appreciate you, Melody. Thank you so much for the kind words and for the coffees. And um, yeah, keep loving the content. That's why I make it. I do this because I love sharing with you. Um, also on a side note, I do wanna let you guys know if you've been looking for me on Poshmark or Mercari, I guess both, um, my name has changed. So you may notice my name changed on uh, YouTube to Oh Yeah Rachie. It used to be Arbagnik, now it's Oh Yeah Rachie. So my Mercari and my Poshmark have also changed names. I am working on rebranding. Um, Arbagnik was my, Bagnik was my maiden name and I've been married for almost two years now. And so it just made sense to get away from that name because I, it's not my name anymore. And uh, I officially registered as an LLC and made this a actual business. So if you're looking for me, that's where you will find me. So anyway, without further ado and without any more intro stuff, let's go ahead and get into the top sales for July 2023. I'll put this screenshot on the side here and I'll tell you how much it sold for, where I got it, and if I remember, I will tell you how long I had it. Sometimes I forget to say that. So let's get into it. Number 15, this was from my Andy Swim Box. So now I actually didn't show you guys this one. I did um, have a very successful Andy Swim Box that I purchased from Helpsy. 
And then a few months later, Boutique by the Box, actually just recently, they got Andy Swim in and I did like a custom bulk order and I ordered 200 pieces. So 200 piece mystery box unboxing on YouTube would be quite the beast. So I didn't actually record that one for you, but I want to show you. Um, and in case you are thinking of getting the Andy Swim boxes, even in July, as we're at the shoulder of like summer season, there are several Andy Swim pieces from that Boutique by the Box custom order I did right here on this countdown. So this one was the Mykonos one piece swimsuit. This one sold for $50 on Poshmark and it actually sold the next day after I listed it. Next up are these hazy indigo button fly jeans. These were a small size, a size 25, but they are from the brand Redone. And this was from my new without tag outlet Redone box. I really paid up for the stuff in this box. So I'm excited you'll also see some of this box on this countdown. Um, these sold after four days for $50 on eBay. This pair was one that didn't retail quite as high and also because they were a smaller size, I was okay with a $50 um, sale on this one. I think I still like close to doubled my money if we're talking like between the cost of goods. So that still wasn't bad. Um, also from that same box, I had, and I can link that box down below if you want to watch the unboxing as well. Um, I had purchased those Rag and Bone men's jeans and there were five pair of jeans, uh, the exact same pair of jeans in just different sizes. Um, I sold the pair of size 31s for $50 on eBay. Those sold the same day they were listed. So I could tell you those were $18 a piece, but 18 into $50, again, still well, double, a little bit more than double as far as profit. And, um, I mean, same day sale, so you can't beat that. Uh, here's another Andy Swim box. This is the Tulum One Piece swimsuit in cherry red. The red swimsuits seem to do really well for me for whatever reason. Um, this one sold after four days of being listed for $50 on eBay. Then I had from my new without tag outlet rag and bone box. This was the other um, new without tag denim box I purchased recently that only had rag and bone. These were also a size 25, so very small. Um, these sold for $50 on Poshmark. These were listed about two and a half months. So I'm actually coming up on 90 days on that box, um, but we're not quite there yet. This was a $50 sale. And it appears that $50 is the magic number kind of for sales because this next one is also a $50 sale. This was the Sardinia one piece swimsuit from Andy from my boutique by the box, Andy box. Um, I got, I think, a whole lot of duplicates of this same swimsuit, and this was the first one to sell. This one took 13 days, so a little less than two weeks, but it was still a $50 sale. Then the next one was from my Ted Baker box from Boutique by the Box, and I recently did a 90-day update on that box, and these had still not sold, and so they finally did sell. Um, these were the black skinny jeans. They were a size 34, which is what, a size... 18 women size 18 if we're going by like u.s sizes um i was very surprised that these didn't sell sooner just i mean they are skinny jeans but they're a great size um these sold for 52 dollars on poshmark i purchased that box back in february and it took till july to sell them so a little bit of a slower sale but i am glad that they finally have moved along and next up Here's another one of the Mykonos one-piece swimsuits. This one was a size large tall, which by the way, if you're wondering, in my experience with the Andy swimsuits, because they come in like regular and tall sizes, the tall sizes sell just as well. This was a size large tall sold the next day after listing. It was listed for one, days, one day and it was a $55 Poshmark sale. Then I had a pair of Good American jeans. This came from my Boutique by the Box Good American denim box, which is getting close to 90 days. So um, probably later on this month, I will have more, um, I will have a, a 90 day update on this box. But this pair sold for $57 on Poshmark. Um, these, were, we're, these were listed for, now it shows that they were listed for, um, 18 days. That's not really true. I listed these at the beginning of March. The way that I carry my inventory, I probably had some exact duplicates of this exact same pair of jeans. And one of them, like the ones that I listed in March, sold on July 1st. 
and so that I marked these as for sale as of July 1st because I just listed the same pair again. I try not to do like multi-quantity of stuff if it's the exact same thing and it's like no one's going to buy it. Well, it's, it's very unlikely that someone's going to buy two of the exact same pair of jeans in a bundle. So I just kind of list them one at a time. Um, that strategy has really worked for me and it's kind of helped me keep better track of things too. Um, so anyway, after I sold the first pair, this next pair sold 18 days later for $57 on Poshmark. Here's another one of those rag and bone jeans that I bought five of the exact same style. These were a size 29 and these sold for $57 on eBay. These were listed about two weeks. That's really exciting. I think I only have three pair left and um, at $18 a piece, I, I'm close to making my money back on those five. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Oh, my one and only Goodwill find. Um, I have been doing mostly mystery boxes, like I said, but every once in a while I will pop into Goodwill, not because I have to, but because I miss it. I love thrifting. It's really like thrill of the find for me. And quite frankly, there's a lot of good profit to be made if you can find stuff at Goodwill. It's just time consuming to hunt. So every once in a while, if I need to get out of the house or you know, if I, I'm running an errand and I'm close to a Goodwill, I will still pop in. I happened to find this dress. This was a Roberto Cavalli, um, I think it was a midi dress. And it had like the real real tag on it. So somebody bought this from the real real and then never wore it and must have donated it. So um, this one was listed seven days and I sold it for $65 on Poshmark. And it's, if it was from Goodwill, it means I paid $7.24 for it most likely. Um, so I, I think I listed it at like $100 and I got like a ton of attention, but somebody offered me 65 and it's one of those things like I paid eight bucks for it, seven bucks. I'm going to take that $65 because I mean, that's still a great profit for me. So I'm really glad, glad I came across that dress. Um, it was a good, I think it was from 2011. So like 10, 12 year old style. And I still was able to get that much for it. So that was really, really exciting. All right, so we've got four more left. Um, this one is another Andy swim piece. This is the Lagos one piece swimsuit. This one was blue. This one sold the next day after I listed it. It was a $65 Poshmark sale. I do kind of wonder how much of that Andy I'm gonna sit on. I had a few pieces kind of fly out the door, but we, since we are like at the end of the summer season, uh, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a gap in between the swimsuit sales and they'll probably pick up again. Um, if I had to guess just based on previous years, um, we'll get a little bit of a pickup in like February when it's like spring break time. And then again in like April, May when people are starting to shop for summer. So I'm happy to see some of them go out the door this season. So that's less I have to sit on over the winter. Here's another pair of redone jeans from that redone box. And I actually can't believe this because I remember in that video, I talked about how I have a very hard time selling a size 23. Lo and behold, these were the high rise ankle crop jeans in a size 23. And they were a $75 Poshmark sale. I think I listed them somewhere around 100. Someone offered me 75. Hey, a size 23, I feel like I... There was like no reason for me to counter 75 bucks. I will take it. So that was, I would say that was like my most exciting. Actually, that's a lie. The next sale is my most exciting sale, but for a totally different reason. But I was very, very excited to have sold that size 23 pair of jeans. You have no idea. Um, I really thought that like size 23 is the hardest sale ever. This one is the most exciting sale of the entire countdown, even though it is number two not number one, but this item has been in my inventory since February of 2022. So like a year and a half. And most other items would never sit here for a year and a half. Like I'm a 90 day person. I'll keep it listed for 90 days. And after 90 days, like I kind of liquidate. I lower price, lower price, lower price. I accept like very lower offers on most things because I have new stuff coming in and it's run its course and I really just don't want it to stick around. But this, because of what it was, and it's one of those right buyer pieces, um, 
I wasn't going to liquidate it the way I normally would liquidate other kind of things. This was a faux fur leather jacket. So genuine leather faux fur. The brand was Veda, which is a high-end designer. This came in a cozy box. And if you're not familiar with cozy, if you're newer to reselling, Helpsy Source used to be called cozy when they first launched. And um, this was like a rent the runway retirees Um I actually think it might have been like a regen box. I, I honestly don't remember. But um, this was like a $1,400 Rent the Runway jacket. And it's very small. It's a size small. So it kind of sat here for a year and a half. But I was not about to drop the price. And honestly, it sold on uh, July 31st. And I was like, I don't know... $90 or so away from meeting my sales goal for the month. I sent some pretty steep offers on that very last day of the month. And um, I ended up selling this one for $79 by offer on Poshmark. But yay, it's gone. It's literally one of the oldest things in my closet. And that is truly the best feeling. And the number one sale of July 2023 were these 90s high rise loose jeans from Redone. These were sent from that same redone box, but these ones sold for $85. Um, they were listed just over one month, one month and one day, $85 eBay sale. So like I said, that box is shaping up to be really, really good, really profitable. And I am excited about that. So that's my entire countdown for July. Here we are in August. Um, definitely let me know what your best sale was. I love to hear what sort of things are selling for you. As far as reseller content for August, um, I do have some really, really cool unboxing videos coming up. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see. I don't have a lot of 90 day updates on the schedule for this month because 90 days ago, ish was when I like was on maternity leave I had my daughter in April of 2023 so like July and August there's not a lot of 90 day stuff coming up because there wasn't a lot happening during that time but definitely stay tuned for all the new stuff I have coming in I'm really excited to share with you some of these boxes I'm getting in um, gearing up for fall for Q4 so yeah drop me a like on the way out if you have not already that really really does help out my channel and that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy sales for August. I will catch you in the next one.